I'm not a huge fan of football. I don't like that they hit. I don't like. I don't like it. And but at the same token, so what's my so what? My choices are either to ignore it or to do something about it. And in doing something about it, I teach kids how to take a hit and how to give a hit, how to not be mean. There are other teams that are hate breeders, and I said we are great breeders, and we are. There are so many great kids uh, that come and go, and I tell them when you look back at your childhood, being a Viking is going to be your favorite part. It's going to make you smile. Don't look weak. To be strong, to be that you're stronger than you think you are. So even when you're not, be accurate and deliberate, even if it's wrong. Checkbook females, I tell them that all the time. Checkbook females on the football field, even if you're wrong, be accurate and deliberate. You make it seem like that's exactly what you were going to do. Always be smooth. Confidence. Confidence. Conceit makes you a jerk. Confidence makes you a god. And there's a very fine line. And we have kids like London Montgomery that come back and say thank you at the banquet. Ask if he can say thank you to the Vikings at the banquet for what he is and what he's become. Come on. That kid's 17. As long as you're doing what's right. If everybody has the same goal, which is for here, it's the kids, then there shouldn't be any arguments. There shouldn't be any problems. It should be you do whatever it takes. Uh, we're not short, good football players. We're short, short good humans. And that's what I want to produce mass quantities of them. You know, it's like basically babysitting. It's not. It's like a six pack without that plastic thing. It's like rolling everywhere in the bag. You can't control it. Um, stay away from the. Guys, don't do that. Get away from there. Look at how close your face is to that.